Hello guys, this is Evil Nobleman here, and I'm starting the Let's Play. Uh, believe it or not, this is actually my third time recording this. Every single time, somebody has interrupted me. So, hopefully, this time, I won't get interrupted. If I do, then I'll just, I really don't care. I'll just go through it, and I'll cut, cut it out, because I don't feel like recording it again. Um... This is, if you can't already tell, Mountain Blade Warband, and I'm doing a mod. It's it's a mod for the French and Indian War. It's called 1755 Old Frontier, I think. I'm not completely sure about that, but I think that's what it is. But um, it's really fun. It has muskets in it and stuff like that. You know, you can, well, you can't really get cannons, but there is a way you can pretend like, I might, you know, to pretend like you can get a cannon, so I might, you know, do that sometime, but, um, it's kind of hard to get, well, it's not really hard to get there, it's just, there's a lot of enemies around, so, you can easily get, you know, attacked, so, I guess we'll just go ahead and start the game. Usually my warband messes up and it says something is wrong. I don't know, but um, so hopefully this time it goes pretty smooth and there will be no interruptions and everything will just be great. So here we go. I've read this two times already and I don't feel like reading it again. So uh, I'll let you read it yourself if you want to. It's not much, it's just telling you what all the British colonies have and what all the, you know, what all the British have and all that all the French have. And yeah. Alright, continue. Mel, you were born years ago in a far away land your father was. Let's do a veteran warrior. As a child, your family scrambled out of the meager living from your father's wages as a guardman to the local lord. It was not an easy existence, and you were too poor to get much of an education. You learned mainly how to defend yourself on the streets, with or without a weapon in hand. You started to learn about the world almost as soon as you could walk and talk. You spent your early life as... Don't know, I never figured out what a vagabond's child was. So I'm not gonna go with it. Oh. Um, a craftsman's apprentice. Oops. Um, as a boy going out of childhood, you apprenticed a local craftsman to learn that trade. After years of hard work and study under your new master, he promoted you as he promoted you to journeyman and employed you as a fully paid craftsman for as long as you wished to stay. Then, as an adult, life changed as it always does. You became... Um, I guess I'll go to a university. Through the distinction felt... Through the distinction felt sudden to you. Though, never mind, not through. Though the distinction felt sudden to you, somewhere along the way, you had become a man, and the whole world seemed to change around you. You found yourself as a student in a university of one of the great cities where you studied theology, theology, philosophy, and medicine. But not all of your lessons were learned in the lecture halls. You may or may not have joined in with your fellows as they roamed the alley. Alice, Alice. I think I said Alice first time. The alleys in search of wine, women, and a good fight. However, you certainly were able to observe how to get a, how a broken jaw is set, or how angry townsmen can be pre, be pursued to set down his club and accept cash compensation for the destruction of his shop. But soon everything changed, and you decided to strike out on your own as an adventurer. What made you take this decision was 
was, 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 was a lust for money and power. Only you know exactly what caused you to give up your old life to become and become an adventurer. To everyone else, it's clear that you've, you're now motivated solely by personal gain. You want to be rich, powerful, respected, feared. You want to be the one whom others hurry to obey. You want people to know your name and tremble whenever it is spoken. You want everything and you won't let anyone stop you from having it. Come to adventure and ride to your destiny. Ride, I say, ride. Duh. Duh. Never mind. I thought this was part where you pick your character's thing, but face and stuff. But it's not, so. Um. Fairly strong, so I'm not gonna spend any points in that. We can get charisma up a bit. And the rest I'll put in agility. So we're going to get at least four iron, f no, five iron flesh. We're going to get one more in power strike. Uh, one more in looting. Trainer and surgery. Um, and I like pole arms in this game. They make noises when you pull them out, so they're pretty cool. And I guess I'll put that one in firearms and... Gotta remove my thingy out the way. Oops. Can't back spit. Oh, come on. Evil nobleman. I should have been a page at a nobleman's, nobleman's court so I can be the evil nobleman. Get it? See what I did there? Okay. You always start out as an Indian. So, um, ooh, sun's bright. Back up. It's like he has a huge gash right there, if you, I think. But, um, um, I don't really care. Nope, 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 nope. Nope, 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 <laughs> you don't know how ridiculous that looks, sure, yeah, I'll go with that, <laughs> oh, he can't have like blonde hair, you know how ridiculous that look, but uh, guess I'll just go black. I go black. Um, I can't remember which one it was, but you never want to go to. I think it might be Albany. You never want to go to because your game crashes. So, I want to go to Richmond. Oh, uh, sorry, I skipped that. You can pause it anytime. Let's go. I see who's it? Oh, Lily and Uncus. I think that's it. Got my way, Lily. Lose a dog. You just can't see the dog because, oh, well, not really a dog. It's more like a wolf. But right now, all it is is just a person on top of the wolf, and the wolf is like a mount. So the wolf is not really moving. It's actually just the person. The person's at right. You see, it's changing weapons. Oh my god! Get on my face, dude. Should have been more careful. That that could have ended very badly. Victoire, yes, Victoire. Oh no, no! Get away from me! Oh. Where's Lily? What's up? Sure, I'll do it. I'll take the extra money. I'll take your money and don't want to fight them right now, so I'm just gonna go over here. 
<clears throat> I don't want to recruit anybody right now. Uh, those are deserters. I don't think I'll be able to handle them. Now, the renegades, I do have a chance of taking. So, I'm going to attack them. Charge. Oh my god. The music well to me it's really loud. I don't know, it might not be loud in the video. <laughs> 